Hi and welcome to this tutorial. We have a question from the staff there, and it's regarding a June 2011 paper 2 question 49 is access. And um, this specific question, I'll just show you what it looks like as a whole, is to do with uh, labels made in access. And um, the staff is asking about this particular question or task. Um, so I'm going to do the whole question of, of labels and then we'll specifically look at the display the field name as well as the data. So let's begin by starting off with a query design. Okay, so it has some uh, criteria here which we have to do first. So we'll go to our table because we want all the data. So click it once and go to query design. You'll then have your pop-up which you want to add and close. So you see your table appear here, and I recommend you to double click each field name and I'm not sure which one you quite need right now. Okay, so let's go to the question. Arranged in two columns, so your labels should look like this when printed out. Okay, so that's definitely going to be done at the label stage. So we'll skip that for now. Show only the record where bin begins with 37. So that's your first criteria. So we go into bin and you may think 37, enter, see if that works. No it doesn't. Let's go back, delete that and see why that's not worked. Okay, so the table is working, but the VIN number has letters in it as well. And where is 37? It does eventually begin towards the end. So we want to find these records. So if we go back, and then we say like 37 and click enter. Let's run. Again, it doesn't work. See? So what you need to do is you need to make sure we use a wildcard. The wildcard is the start or multiplication sign there. The wildcard then will say show anything that is 37. But I don't really care what is after 37. We just want to make sure it starts with 37 then we want to show that okay, and ignore the rest. Click run, to then find the VIN number appears which begins with 37. Okay, the next one is the country field should be Spain. So country is Spain. Okay, click enter. Let's run that. How many records do we have? We have 71 now. The next one is power field is E. Power field. Um, power is here. One type E. Oh, if I press enter. It does that by accident. So you just click away. Switch quotations for you. And click run. That's much better. We've got eight records now. Okay. This might be slightly different to yours because I've not put in the extra record at the beginning of the exam. Let's go back. Shows all the fields the VIN model for a distributor on each separate line. Um, so, you can go ahead and start making this uh, label. Now, you can untick the ones you don't need, um, but I'm just going to show you a, a different way. Okay? If we save this, and um, we want to call this question, question 3049, so query 49. Don't get confused with any other queries you've made. Click on the query once and then we're going to produce the labels. Okay, not a report, labels. And in order to get the two columns as requested, okay, it's always the first one. Okay, numbers across two. So it's next. We ignore the text appearance because it doesn't want us to do that. Now, this is the area where Mustafa was wanting some advice. So let's start off with BIN. Okay, so if we put BIN here and then click enter the next line. The next line is model. And the next line is port. Okay, so click enter. Port. The next one is distributor. Now, 
the reason why I didn't untick these in the query, as you can see, it just saved me a lot, a lot more time just selecting the ones I need for my label. Now, the area that Mustafa was having an issue with, display the field name as well as the data, it can be done at this stage, which is much easier than doing the design stage. So what you do is you put your cursor before it, and then you just type field name. So VIN, in capitals, and then just do some semicolon, maybe a space. And then you just repeat this with the rest model, port, and file name. There we have it. We have all our field names as well as the record of that field name. So we click next. Do we need any sort on this? Can I remember? No, we don't. But we do have a heading. Warning, check charge of voltage before delivery. So let's copy that. And just to make sure, um, it has to be in a larger font of each label. Um, I'm going to copy it so it's like this. The so warnings at the top, and then we have another sentence below it. So click next. We can change the report name. So you're going to paste this in. Alright. Now it appears that our title has not appeared. Okay, so don't worry about that. We can do that in a second. But you can see it is starting to look familiar to this. Okay. And we have our field name and the field record. So we need to go into this into the design stage and put our title in. So if we go to um, design view, which we have, and what we're going to do is we're going to move these fields down to the center, which will allow us to give us some space to put our titles in because it's saying they want it in a larger font at the top of each label. So we go to labels, and the first one we'll put in is warning. And so warning. And I'm going to highlight this. Go to home, and you'll see that it's in non-selectable mode. The reason for this is you just type this text in. If you click out of the box and then click back in. We're then aligned to manipulate this. So now put this bold and I'll make it black. Size 12 in the middle. Even though it didn't really ask for that. Um, I'm just going to make it the way I like it to look. And then I'm going to just do with that again. I'm going to go to design. Put another label in. Okay. And paste in that information. And again, this won't work. You have to select out the box, select it again, and now it'll allow you to change it. So a bit of nice clear background. Highlight it and then make it size 12 and make it bold as well. The more than I needed to. Make this label slightly bigger. Okay. What I'm also going to do is make this look like labels from this. As you can see it has these squares um, and when we saw our labels it didn't have that particular shape. So we're, I'm just going to create this in just for it to look more like a label. So if you go to uh, design and then you want your rectangle and then we're just going to draw a box around here and what will happen is that will go Above all the information, so you right click, go to position, and center back. Um, that is it. Let's just double check with our question. Have your name, sense number coming out at the bottom of each label. Okay, so let's do that now as well. Again, that'll be done as a label. So let's just make this a little bit bigger again. Some room for another label. I'm not going to worry too much about how this looks. Let me make sure it just fits in. There. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. As I, 
as the question paper said it, it says it may look like this. So if your label is a little bit bigger than what it shows in the exemplar, which is here, don't worry too much about it because it says it may may look like this. So save and print these labels is the last job. We go back and we go to print preview. You can see that your labels look like this. There's a slight error here that we look at. So you design view or layout view. And you can just adjust just the way it looks. And it's not quite right. You need adjusting. So make sure that you can see your label in full. Okay. Now, what some students make the mistake of is when they go to the layout view, they immediately think that their label will not print to a page. Okay. This is because it's in the layout view. I always make sure that when you go to print preview, that's what it would look like when it's printed out and that's just a simple case of printing this and that is a labels task done and the print task. Thank you for watching and listening.